Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Belinda. Beauties, today I'm going to be transforming an antique cabinet into a coffee station. So if you're curious as to how I did this, then please keep watching. But before that we get started, I'm just going to ask if you can please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also if you'll click that bell icon so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. First, let me start by showing you this antique cabinet. Now, this cabinet I had purchased a few weeks ago at an antique fair. And I had told you that I was going to be transforming this into something really special. And so the big reveal is turning this into a coffee station. I love that this cabinet has a lot of storage underneath and also it has the drawers. So this was perfect for what I was needing this cabinet for. I really did like the color of this wood, so I decided to keep it this way. I just have to give it a good cleaning and I was not gonna paint it white like I normally paint my furniture. So this is gonna stay as is. The top of the cabinet is also in very good condition. As you can see, it's really nice and pretty. I love how the wood grain just shows up. The next item that I'm gonna use is this backboard that originally came from an antique dresser that I currently use. However, I wasn't using this backboard. This actually held a mirror, but I removed the mirror, and as you can see, actually where it, um, where it was. I had painted this this blue color because that's the color of the dresser right now but like I said I took off the mirror and I just left the mirror by itself on the dresser and I think that it looked better. Anyways um, what I did with this is I had to use some of that wood putty to fill in the grain where both of the panels met and also it had some screws so I had to cover those up. And this I'm going to transform it into a chalkboard. So I'm going to be using this Rust-Oleum chalkboard paint or finish and I'm going to spray it down and just turn this into a chalkboard. Now for the shelf that I'm going to be putting on there I use these steel galvanized pipe and also these flanges and also some screws. And I'm gonna spray paint them with this Rust-Oleum flat black paint. And I'm gonna be using this one by six piece of board and I also stained it with some of this mint wax wood finish in the color dark walnut. I wanted this wood to look a little bit rustic and that's why I chose this color. Okay, so here I just wanna show you that I've already spray painted the hardware that I'm gonna be using, and this is how they look. I forgot to mention that I'll also be using these caps that'll go at the end of the steel pipe. And this is how the board turned out once I spray painted the shop paint. I didn't realize that by using the wood filler that it would show up as it did, but I think that it'll work out in the end once I season the chalkboard. And this is what the chalkboard looks like once I seasoned it. And the way that you do that is just by adding some chalk all over it and you just hold the chalk sideways and then you just rub it on the chalkboard. And this is what it'll look like. Once I remove the chalk, this is what it looks like. And now it's been attached to the back of my cabinet. I apologize, I did not show you the braces that my husband used, but basically it's these pieces of long braces that he used to attach the chalkboard. Okay, so this is the first thing that I wrote on my chalkboard and it says, but first, coffee. And then my husband also added the shelf using the steel hardware. And here is the coffee station. 
And so here it is now with both of my coffee makers. And down below the cabinet, I stored my creamers and coffee and honey and things like that. The reason I have two coffee makers is because I like to use my Keurig for tea and hot chocolate. And then I like to use the regular coffee maker for just a good old plain coffee. I had DIY'd this creamer and coffee station a while back. I'll go ahead and link that video up above if you want to see how I created this. However, I've since changed it now for tea and hot cocoa. I also added these LED lights underneath the shelf. And I also had this coffee bar wood sign and I decided to add it here as well. Well beauties, that is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and also share. I'd really appreciate it. You have yourself a blessed day and I will see you on my next video. So until then, bye bye and God bless.